a former bullfighting arena in Barcelona. Bullfighting is now illegal in this part of Spain, so this arena has been turned into a business space. But Muslims would like to turn others into giant mosques. This is not Saudi Arabia, it's Spain. But Spain is undergoing a transformation. Muslims who once ruled most of Spain are returning in large numbers. In the city of Salt, parents have come to pick up their children from school. Muslims already make up 40% of the city's residents and will soon be the majority. City government is pushed back, placing a one-year hold on a large mosque project funded by radical Wahhabis in Saudi Arabia. And then for good measures, someone cursed the ground at the building site. Here at the site of the proposed mosque in Salt, someone left a pig head, cut in half. Pigs are considered impure by Muslims. Islamic law forbids the building of a mosque on ground soiled by pigs. This is the mosque the Muslims are forced to use now. But the number of Muslims is increasing so rapidly, it's now only a matter of time before they'll be running the show in Salt. When the first Muslim party presents itself, all the Muslims will vote for it and will all end up wearing headscarves. We're in a really big problem. In the 7th century, Muslim armies conquered most of Spain, calling it El Andalus. They would not be completely expelled for 700 years, the year Columbus discovered the New World. And now Muslims are returning, and polls suggest they're not returning in order to be Spaniards. A Pew survey found that 7 out of 10 Muslims in Spain think of themselves as Muslim rather than Spanish. We in Catalonia and Spain consider it an invasion. We never said we were against immigrants, but we want controlled immigration. Josep Anglada heads Platform for Catalonia, the first political party that's taking the threat of Islamization seriously. But this is politically correct Spain, which last year celebrated the 1300-year anniversary of the first Islamic invasion as if it was a great thing for Spain. Platform for Catalonia is denounced as racist and xenophobic because of campaign ads like this. But Anglada says they're not against immigrants, they're against uncontrolled immigration and against immigrants who do not want to be a part of Spain. Muslim immigrants are not here to adapt, they're here to conquer. First the husband comes as the head of the family, then the wife and children, and later he comes with his parents, in-laws and grandparents, and it has turned into an invasion. In the city of Yeda, someone is poisoning dogs. Police don't know who's been doing it, but the suspicion is that it was Muslims. Because before the poisonings, Muslims were trying to get the city to ban dogs from public transport and public areas, because they considered dogs unclean. What happened was, all of the sudden, one day, 12 or 14 animals showed up dead. They had eaten something or been given something. We don't know. Yeda, about one quarter Muslim, was the first Spanish city to ban the burqa. Then the mayor shut down the city's mosque because it was overflowing with Friday worshippers. We went to see where the Muslims are praying now and it's a large open-air pavilion. Filming with a hidden camera, we saw more than 500 men listening to a sermon in Arabic. We don't know what the Muslim leaders are telling their people. Are they encouraging Muslims to assimilate or stay separate? It's estimated there are more than 100 Saudi-style radical Wahhabi mosques in Spain. And two radical Muslim TV channels from the Middle East are now broadcasting in Spain. Just as Muslim immigration is surging, the native Spanish are slowly disappearing. Their birth rate is below the replacement number. And large numbers of college-age Spaniards are leaving the country to escape a 50% unemployment rate. The Muslim birth rate is at least twice the native birth rate. And the number of Muslims in Spain has increased by 10 times in the last 20 years. Spanish intelligence has learned that radical groups from the Middle East are pouring large sums of money into Spain in order to control the nation's Muslims. The greatest threat for Spain, Catalonia and Europe is Muslim immigration. We know that they are coming here to conquer what, according to Muslims, used to belong to them. We have a moral duty so that in the future they can say that at least there was someone, one party, that was not willing to surrender the West to Islamization. Dale heard CBN News in Barcelona.